Hi everybody, Simon here, Projects on in the Barn. <laughs> so you join me on this sunny but um, slightly showery day today um, on a more of a clear driveway than it was last time you saw me. Um, so yeah, the day came, the Jaguar S-Type has sold. It's gone to a lovely man called Ray, uh, who I've had a few dealings with in the past. He lives locally to me and we've bought and sold a few cars to each other uh, over the years. Um, including my very first XJR that I had many many years ago uh, we've sort of stayed in contact and um, he saw the advert for my S-Type and so he's bought that which has enabled me to buy my new car and we'll show you what that is on a minute in a minute on the driveway here so you've seen my XKR has gone down the barn um, so we can get that in the barn um, get it out of the weather as soon as I've had a bit of a jiggle round in there I also mentioned on my last video about uh, works we're going to be doing onto the XKR, try and get the engine running properly, including contacting a Jaguar specialist. So, but I'll talk more about that when we do a video on the XKR. Today's all about my new vehicle. Now, I bought it as a, a new family car, but it's also a project, which is what's allowed me to afford to buy it. <laughs> it's an absolute state. I'll just show you behind me. Ta da! There we go. So I bought a Land Rover, so same family group, uh, Discovery 3, uh, 2008 model on a 57 plate. So it's the 2.7 TDV6 uh, diesel engine that they put into the XS. Um, yeah, so we have a look around it, it's starting to rain. <laughs> so let me show you the car. So it's all black, Java black. Hopefully it'll pick it up in the uh, with the sun sort of shining down on it. So this is how it came to me. So it comes from Whitchurch in Shropshire, which is hundreds of miles away from where I live, down on the south coast. So it was picked up for me on Saturday and it came down to me just before midnight on Saturday night. So today's the first time I've seen it in the daylight. I only ever saw it in pictures. It was on a, a very famous internet auction site, um, which is where I bought it from. And there we go. So hopefully this is just going to be a shower. It's not going to pour down the rain on me. But it's actually in pretty good condition body-wise. It appears to be very straight. It's hard to see through all the dirt. Um, it's, <laughs> it's actually, let's go this way because the sun's shining. Yeah, it's hard to see exactly the condition of the car. Um, because it's absolutely filthy dirty. So it's still on the road, MOT'd. I've taxed it and that was painful, but we won't talk about that. We'll sort of skirt over that. But this is the excess model, so it doesn't have the sunroofs. Uh, all the um, digital display inside, the touch screen. But it's filthy, isn't it? Absolutely filthy dirty. And as usual, I've bought it with a couple of problems. Um, one where it comes, it's a manual, rare manual. So there's an issue where it goes into transmission fault when I go into sixth gear. But only in sixth gear, but it still drives, doesn't affect the performance. I get a transmission fault message and it comes up with an E in the display, but it still drives. It doesn't affect the suspension or anything. And apparently it can go into limp mode after about 20 minutes of driving but I've yet to experience that so we'll plug the scanner in as and when that happens and see what goes on it's minging isn't it <laughs> oh why do I do it to myself my wife keeps telling me just to sell all my projects and buy like one lush car but I can't help myself so little things like this look wheel arches trim and sort of poking back in again and you've got all the moss growing on and around the windows disgusting isn't it absolute so it's been parked up about a month, they reckon. Um, yeah, all on the front scuttle panel, look. 
So on the inside, all the wheel arches under the mud are all in good order. But look at the state of it. I've been embarrassed to sell a car. Look, you know, I've just been embarrassed. I've been embarrassed. It is disgusting. You're like you don't want to touch anything. It's awful. Bit of trim missing there on the seat. You know, I can only imagine it. You know, it looks and smells like it's been used for horses or something like that. You know, proper days out. At least it's been getting used like a Land Rover should, I guess. Already have my uh, scanner outlet ready to go. Awful, isn't it? Let's take it around the other side. Let's go back around this way. Ah, great feature of these is the. Um, says <laughs> the split there we go that might want to be a bit of a surface the split rear tailgate does this come down oh that works there you go look Yeah, these little sort of accessory cubby holes up here on both sides. 12 volt socket, that's handy. It's the seven seater model. So these two seats will lift up. Shut that up. And that. Again, all oh, looks right there. I mean, it's filthy. Surely the wheel arch liner should be behind the wheel arch. Yeah, lovely. So it does have heated seats. Uh, to the front anyway, not to the back. Uh, driver's one doesn't work, apparently. So I need to look at that. Head line is nice though. Looks all right. And then we got the end part of the driver's door. It's missing. Is it in here anyway? Fredo. Ah. <laughs> well, it's in there. Oh, I don't know if I, I want to put some gloves on. <laughs> All right, okay. This is my first fix. Must have a uh, clip or something broken. Uh, maybe off the top here. So we'll get one of them. And then, yeah, it's gopping. Ugh! I'm in my work clothes, it's all right. And here we are inside. As I said, it's a six-speed manual, uh, low range, high range, and obviously all air suspension, which appears to be working. Um, yeah, heated front screen, heated rear screen, auto defrost, and then um, dual climate control. Bit of the. Uh, Trim's coming away down there, that on the A pillar trim. 
So there we have it. For some reason I've bought another project, but it does have the uprated Harman Kadron sound system in it. It doesn't have the nav screen, um, which is no issue because like I say it wasn't, I mean it's well outdated now in terms of the navigation system, but it gives you like the, um, showed you what position you was in in like the terrain modes. Uh, which are these down here, you rotate them round. But I believe they will come up on the information centre down there. Um, but it starts up nice, sounds nice, it's quiet. Uh, where's the keys? I'll show you the key as well. <laughs> I don't know if it come like that from the factory. Um, I'm guessing not. <laughs> Well, there we go. Let's swap hands on my camera and shut the door. We'll go for a startup, shall we? Let's see if we get any error messages or anything up. I did when I first got it. So today is Tuesday. Say so it come midnight Saturday night. Uh, let it go for its do. Nice. All the lights gone out. Happy days. Yeah, and I had all sorts of warning lights and everything on there, suspension dropped and all that sort of stuff. Um, let's turn the aircon off so you can hear me. Yeah, nice and quiet, isn't it? Sort of thing for low coolant, low washing fluid level. I say a suspension drop down, parking brake fall, and it's a oh, nightmare, absolute nightmare. Um, but yeah, a quick charge of the battery. I've come out on it today, started up, moved it on the driveway, and all those faults have gone. So I've taken it for a spin around the block, and it would appear that the cause of all those issues was a flat battery, or a low battery. So typical Jaguar. Oh, it's bonging because my keys in ignition. Ta da! So yeah, it looks like as well as Jags, the Land Rover, same family group, also suffers from poor battery condition. Um, so there we go. I was debating whether to sort of clean the car right up and show it to you as me fancy new discovery. But I think if I do it this way, then um, we can turn it into a bit of a project car for the channel, can't we? So yeah, probably the first thing to do is to get this thing completely cleaned and degreased and all the mingingness out of it. So it looks like a half decent car. And then I guess we'll go through all the systems and see what faults we can find and fix them. So I know I must be a fool for taking on another project when I've got the other cars to do, but you know, my motorhome's coming to an end. Um, the XKR is as always going to be my winter project, so that's going to be in the barn. So there's going to be plenty of content coming up on the XKR. And this is just something that we can do in the background and maybe do have some fun with it. So um, yeah, that's it. That's the new motor. So hopefully we'll, you know, get to a stage where it's a nice, usable, clean car where my family aren't afraid to come in here without their, um, you know, over boots on and. They're happy to wear their normal clean clothes in here without the forensic suits. Um, and then we can start using it. But yeah, so far, so good. I know it looks disgusting, but it will clean up nice, I'm absolutely sure. And all the little things that are broken gives me something to do, doesn't it, as always. And that's the bit I enjoy doing on all my cars. So yeah, not a particularly long video today. Just a short one to show you that the S-Type is gone. The new one is here. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll have a bit of fun with it and uh, be able to do some work as we move forward um, with the project. So that's it for me for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the car. I hope you'll continue joining me for all the updates and the things we're going to do to it. We've got a few things planned, me and the wife for it. Um, so yeah, we'll see you on the next one on Projects in the Barn. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of you that are subscribing. Uh, the channel seems to be sort of gaining more and more momentum as we move along. So thanks again, everybody. We'll see you soon. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and the notification icon. And we'll see you again on Projects in the Barn. Take care, everybody. Bye from the Land Rover Discovery 3. 
what have I done? 